Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another tracking test outside. I'm gonna walk around a reap, which is a pretty good distance. Um, I removed the lines that are inside, so those won't appear anymore, hopefully. And, yeah, that's basically it. I wish I could change the, the uh, far clip plane so that we could actually see the entire wire, but can't. <laughs> I have to rebuild this app, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start, like, I don't know, right over here, in front of the stairs. It's evening, so I don't think the sun should interfere that much. So here's I'm gonna, here's the start, and I guess I will walk around that side. Also, my first video, I guess, was 13 minutes long, so I'm no longer worried about the video just shutting off. The HoloLens 1, I think, had a 10 minute long video length restriction, and then it would just stop, so that's why I was worried. So, the sun is on this side, so let's see if that makes a difference. UV rays, I mean, uh, the sun, I think, does give off. IR or something. So maybe that affects the depth sensor. I don't know. I'm not a physicist. You can look at the results so far. It looks more or less right. I think the recording, since the HoloLens recordings usually show the holograms in full opacity since they're basically overlaid on the image. You'll probably see something that's a lot more clear than what I see. I do have the opacity of the holograms up all the way. But it, at least on my end it's kind of hard to see. It's just too bright out. That dude was like, what in the world is that? Sometimes doing AR research out in public is just awkward. I guess I will I'll go along this side. I mean, I could go that way, but there's not a path around the building that's right next to the building. You basically have to go all the way around the lawn. Oh man. My arm, let me give that one a rest. I know AR core can definitely track this much distance because I've done it before. I've been able to track miles with AR core. It's really good. So hopefully the HoloLens 2 can do the same. Otherwise, I don't know. They need to fix something. Because AR core work. Oh, that that's not good. I don't even know where, <laughs> I don't know where the other path is. I don't, like, I don't know where I came from. This whole part here is a failure. Yeah, that just looks really, really bad. I don't even know where the successful part is. Well, that was a failure. 
Oh, here's a successful part. I don't know why it's in the ground. I, I'll have to, I don't even know where I was, to be honest, when it failed. I was like over here somewhere, so. I don't know what's going on. You can see this in the floor. Why would it do that? I mean, the HoloLens, compared to AR Core, the HoloLens uses a depth sensor, and AR Core doesn't. It can, it can use Apple's LiDAR sensor, but the HoloLens relies entirely on its depth sensors for recording. So, my guess is that something about this area really, really confused the depth sensor, like probably the foliage or something. And so it's just not able to do anything. It sees like a tree or something and it just doesn't, like it can't really get depth information from that. At least nothing consistent. I'm kind of surprised that the foliage confused it more than the grass did though. Or sorry, the, the glass, not grass. I guess if they were using, if they were relying really heavily on visual recognition, the way that AR Core does, or even like Oculus's API, I think uses a lot of visual recognition then that probably would not have confused it so much because it would recognize the image frame and features in the image frame instead of you know, relying on depth sensor and IMU. But I don't know. I don't know, I don't know the internals of this API. All I know is that I'm trying to draw a line. So, based on that huge tracking failure, what I'm thinking is that the place where I started will be pushed up this way by a few feet. But we'll see. Switch back. interesting to see where the start ends up being. Assuming that it's anywhere over here at all. It could have drifted really significantly. So, oh wow. <laughs> That's a lot farther than I thought it would be. So I started about here. This is where I started before. And that's where it ended up. So it's a couple meters at least along the ground plane. And height is obviously it's like two times my height maybe. So. 11, 12 feet. Not great. So if you're going to do tracking outside, I guess use AR Core. 
What's the moral here? All right, I'm done with this recording. Hopefully that was useful. I will quit this now.